simulation, it's been mentioned in the conversation already that simulation does not require high tech. Uh, it needs to be rooted in a sound and solid uh, learning uh, objective. And that's that, that's super important. In this segment of the Vark Talk Cafe, I always bring up a little bit of, of a technology tool idea or uh, uh, to that hopefully you guys can use in your in your lessons. I'm not going to go to uh, virtual reality. I'm not going to go to uh, simulation in real life, but propose uh, setting up branching scenarios using forms. Uh, uh, those of you at Lester B are going to be using Google Forms. In most of the other school boards, it's going to be uh, Microsoft Forms. But um, the idea is to build a scenario that continues in different ways with positive or negative consequences depend, depending on the answers that are uh, provided by the learner. And the, the information can be put in text in the form, but you can also put audio recordings with sound effects or without sound effects, or of course, video recordings as well. And the, the uh, situations where it could be useful is when you want the students to analyze the information on a patient's file and you provide them with a file, you need, you need, you need to make decisions or decide, decide how to complete a procedure uh, on the choices made. I thought maybe first aid would be a good uh, context to review the procedure as well. Uh, how to do it? Again, in this case, you need a clear, precise idea. So you need to plan in advance what the branching options are going to be, what the questions are going to be. Personally, when I do this kind of stuff, I like to do it on a big piece of paper and do it by hand but and do a mind map. But there are many ways. But clarify the intention, enter the information in separate questions, and then you determine the branching option for each of the answer. If the student's answer is uh, yes, no, or maybe, then they're directed to another step in the process. You can create loops or or put them in a straight line. The, answer, the answers can be complicated, like this is not the correct answer, go back and try again. Or you can branch it to like a little bit like the books that you were, uh, think of the books that were popular about 20 years ago, like the Les Livres dont vous êtes le héros. It must have been uh, the <laughs> 20 well. years ago. You're yeah. funny, Mark. <laughs> try 50 years ago. <laughs> you was choose it? your own adventure books. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't it 20 oh. years ago? And it was like when I was a kid. <laughs> Oh, okay, 30 years ago then? Anyway, a long time ago. ago. <laughs> the idea of creating a path that students explore by themselves is, is what I want to propose. So uh, my mandate is to provide support about the integration in technology and teaching and learning. Don't hesitate to contact me or my colleague, James Byrne, who's there on screen as well. You have the address of our uh, website on screen. And from there, you can contact us. You can subscribe to our monthly newsletter, Bite Size News.